In this video, I'm going to show you how to make chain style dangle earrings. You will need two rose gold plated earring hooks, two plated eyed pins, two head pins, four 4mm rose gold beads, two 10mm crystal disco ball beads, a rose gold plated 2mm link chain, and your round nose and flat nose pliers. So to begin with, take one of your head pins and you want to thread on one of your disco balls and also one of the 4mm rose gold beads. Either using your thumbnail or a pair of pliers, bend the wire at 90 degrees just above the beads. Like so. Now you want to trim off any excess from this head pin you may have, leaving about one centimetre to turn your loop. So using your cutters and always cutting towards your bead mat, cut the excess off and take your round nose pliers to turn your loop. Grip the end of the wire with your pliers and make a rolling action away from your body until the end of the wire touches the other part of the wire. It is a lot easier to control if you use small movements and then you can adjust it so that there's no gap visible. Now to prepare your second 4mm gold bead, take an eye pin and thread your bead on. Again, either using your thumbnail or a pair of pliers if you find this easier, turn the wire to 90 degrees as close to the bead as you can. And trim off any excess wire, cutting towards your bead mat, leaving about one centimeter to turn your loop. Same as before, gripping the end of the wire with your round nose pliers, make a rolling action away from your body until you turn the loop and the end of the wire is touching the other part of the wire. You have a nice round loop. To get both of these loops facing the same way, take your other set of pliers and just give them a twist. Get your chain handy and we are going to count up 10 links for the chain part of your earring. So you want to cut the 11th link using a set of flush cutters. So just cutting into that link, you'll then be able to open it and take away the 10 links that you want for your earring. And we now start assembling your earring. So starting from the bottom, slightly open your loop to your disco ball and thread on your piece of chain. You may find that if it's difficult to try and thread on, you may just want to open that loop just slightly more and it will make it a lot easier to thread that link on. Closing that loop again with a twisting action and making sure there's no gap between the two bits of wire. Making sure there's nice secure connection there. As these thin pieces of chain are quite easy to get off. They try and wriggle their way in any gaps you have. Opening one end of your beaded link, thread on the other end of the chain and close in the same way as before. And we're just going to attach this to our earring wire by opening the loop at the bottom of the hook 
and threading on your ball there closing that nice and securely again and to make your second bead go through those steps again and you have a pair of lovely sparkly earrings you can of course vary the length of the dangle by increasing or decreasing the number of links of chain that you add I hope you've enjoyed this video. To see more tutorials, please see our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel.